So we have 66 people on a day trip and we know two things about those people. We know that they did an activity and we know what those activities are uh, and we also know whether they're female or male. Okay and when we know two things about people uh, like this and there's a lot of information to record which I haven't even read yet the best thing to use is a two-way table and I hope you've done questions like this before. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a table like this. So we have people who went skating, people who went to the art gallery, people who went bowling, and they are either male or they are female. Now for our two-way table we're also going to include totals like this, and then let's actually make this into a, a bit of a table by drawing some lines. Okay, there we go. And now what we can do is we can put the information we're given into our table. Right, so uh, what are we going for? First of all, we're going for the number of females who went to the art gallery. So that's the number we want. But before we do that, let's put the information we're given in. So the first piece of information is that 66 people went on a day trip. So the total total, the total of all the totals, is 66. And then we're told that 43 people are female. So the female row ends in, not sorry, 6, but 43. And you can see that that's going to allow us to find out how many males there are in this one here. We'll do that in a minute, though, if we need to. The next piece of information we're given is that, ah, two pieces of information. Four of the ten people who went skating are male. So there are four male skaters, and there are ten skaters in total. So the total of the skaters is ten, and the one in the male skaters is four. And then the next thing is that 20 people went to the art gallery. So the total art gallery visitors is 20. And finally, uh, we are given the information that 10 males went bowling. All right, so there's 10. I've put 20. There's 10 in there. Okay, 10 males went bowling. Right, you can check all that if you want to. Sounds like I might need to, but no, that's fine. Now we just start working things out. Anywhere where we have a row or a column, so this row, for example, where there's only one thing missing, we can work out the other things. Similarly with this column, there's only one thing missing, so we could work out other things. And we just keep going round the uh, two-way table until we find what we want. So I'm actually going to start with uh, this column here, the totals, as it were. As we said earlier, we can work out the number of males by doing 66, which is the total number of people, minus 43, which is the total number of females, and 66 minus 43 is 23. Now you can see that we've only got one thing missing from the males row, okay, and so that's the number of males who've visited the art gallery, so there are 20 Oops, wrong pen. There are 23 males. Uh, four of them went skating. Ten of them went bowling. And so what does that leave? Well, 23 minus 10 is 13. Minus 4 is 9. And now you can see that we can go straight to our answer. Uh, I don't know what happened to my 9 there. There it is. Um, we can go straight to our answer because we only have one thing missing from there, which is the blob we want. And so we get, uh, this is 20 minus the 9, which is 11. And so we can say 11 females went to the art gallery. Uh, okay, and that is that. We could, if we wanted to, uh, fill in all the other numbers in the two-way table. But since we've found the 11 already, we don't really need to. So we'll stop there.